gave you a look at uh, two new P55 motherboards from Gigabyte. During the same visit here, we're also getting a, an exclusive look at the Gigabyte EX58 Extreme 2. So let's give you a look at this motherboard. Now having a look at the package here, this is actually a box for the, uh, the P55, but you get the same type of new features with the refresh of this motherboard. Uh, so the thing is 333, you get USB 3.0, three times power on the USB ports, and SATA 3. So let's have a look at the board now, and we'll show you some of these features. This is a, a, not a final revision of the board. So these uh, two slots here are the SATA 3 slots. Um, so you can run it in single configuration or RAID 0. Zooming in here, we've got the two USB uh, 3.0 slots here. Uh, now, keeping in theme with the 333 or the uh, triple uh, style here, these uh, USB 3.0 slots by standard, they, by the USB 3.0 specification, they run at 900 milliamps. Gigabyte has tripled that to 2700 milliamps. Uh, now, all of the USB um, ports on this motherboard, including uh, the USB 2.0 slots here, they have been increased from 500 milliamps, which is the USB 2 spec, to 1500 uh, milliamps. So why has Gigabyte done that? They've done that firstly for a more stable uh, and solid operation of a whole range of different uh, USB products you can hook in there. And if uh, you have a certain caddy that only has one uh, USB cable, um, you'll be able to run a, a full-size 7200 RPM hard drive with just one cable compared to two. Uh, so again, this is not a new bot, it's a refresh of the original uh, EX58 Extreme. So the Extreme 2 um, has 24 power phases here for the CPU. Uh, you can see here the fancy uh, water cooling block here for the North Bridge. And this uh, exotic uh, cooler runs all the way from the CPU power area all the way down to the north bridge. And then down here, under, the, under here, are a couple chips for the um, SATA 3 uh, by Marvell. Um, triple channel memory, you can see here, standard for um, X58. Uh, you've got the power, power switch here, uh, debug, LEDs here. Now, what we see here are four PCI X16 slots. Now, with the previous EX uh, Extreme motherboard, there were only three uh, PCI uh, E16 slots for, the, for your graphics cards. What Gigabyte has done here, now, if you want to run two cards in uh, SLI or Crossfire, these will both run at 16 times. If you want to run uh, Quad SLI or Quad Crossfire, you can run each of these, and each of these slots will run at eight times, so eight, 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 and eight. So uh, this is the board, I guess, if you're looking to break some records, this is probably the one you would use. So zooming in here, now we see the NEC chip. Now this is um, one of the chips last week that we noticed with the uh, P55 motherboards. This NEC chip here is powering the USB 3. It is a new chip, uh, and it's what's responsible for adding USB 3 to this motherboard. Now, for overclockers, and it's obviously a market that Gigabyte has really uh, have been focusing on for the past uh, couple of years, there are six fan headers here. Overclockers like to use as many fans as they can, uh, along with their LN2 dry ice and uh, uh, the other phase change uh, type cooling equipment. So you can see all here, there's six, uh, six fan connectors all around the board. This has been Cameron looking at the Gigabyte EX58 Extreme 2 motherboard from Taipei.